what's so amazing about my time at Disney, I received an invitation to have breakfast with the president. And it said arrive at Disney Shot and Beach Club on a certain day. And I think it was like at 7.30 a.m. Well, I got there at 6.45 a.m. And I noticed that there were name cards on the table where everybody was supposed to be sitting. And my name card wasn't next to the president. So I did something I probably wasn't supposed to do. Yes, I did a little switcheroo so that I could sit next to the most powerful man in the Disney company. So 7.30 comes, and at Disney, you're on a first name basis. So uh, Al turned to me, says, hi, Simon. I said, hi, Al. I said, can I have you ask you a question? I had this burning question I wanted to ask him. And I said to him, what do I have to do to get ahead here at Disney? And he said to me without blinking an eye, he said, you need to know who you are, and you need to know why you're here. And when he said it, it just whoosh, went right over my head. And I was like, seriously, dude, is that it? But I just kind of gave him the screensaver face. And it didn't hit me until 10 years later what he really meant. You need to know who you are, and you need to know why you're here. And what I've discovered is that sometimes people go in the business, and they make money, but they don't have meaning. They pursue perceived power, but they don't have purpose. They chase status, but they don't have satisfaction. And when you really know what you do and why you're here, you become a purposeful leader who understands how do I marry purpose and profit together? How do I make money and have meaning? How can I have status and stat satisfaction? And my staff and my team that work with me know that it's not about what we can get, but it's about what we become as we share, as we hug people with our words, as we make a difference to not just communicate, but to connect. And how do we smile with our face, smile with our eyes, and totally let people know from the time that they enter into our dental practice that this is a safe place, that we're gonna care for them, and they're gonna leave better than when they came. And that's the feeling, that's the emotion, that's the spirit, that's the connection that all of you who are listening to me, that's what you take away from being the CEO. You are the chief engagement officer. You are the chief energy officer. And everybody feeds for, off of you because you set the tone, you set the atmosphere. So what I say to you is raise the thermostat on your brilliance and allow everyone to enter into your space.